thanks for joining us. What evidence is there that this special unit really exists? Well, Seymour Hirsch, the former New York Times reporter, uh, who has quite a lot of experience with uh, U.S.-led uh, death squads, uh, especially in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. It was uh, Cy Hirsch who, of course, reported on the My Lai massacre and also a CIA program called Operation Phoenix, which did target uh, Vietnamese political and religious leaders for assassination. Uh, he released this information at a speech in, uh, in Minnesota last week and uh, mentioned that uh, in a book that he's working on, uh, he's going to be uh, uh, revealing uh, more details about a, an assassination squad that was run out of uh, Vice President Cheney's office uh, that uh, he particularly mentioned uh, Afghanistan uh, as a base of operation. Uh, but I've, uh, I've known about this uh, White House death squad for uh, a number of years. I first reported their activities in Lebanon uh, in 2004 and again in 2005. So this is something that I've uh, heard about uh, five years ago from CIA sources. So this special unit, who were they supposed to target? Well, we know from what uh, Seymour Hirsch said that they were targeting, uh, obviously, Taliban uh, uh, and Al-Qaeda uh, uh, related or uh, allied leaders in Afghanistan. Uh, what I reported was uh, in 2004 and 2005 that uh, this CIA uh, 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 unit linked to the White House uh, was responsible for uh, coordinating the assassinations in Lebanon of uh, former Christian uh, leader, uh, the late Christian leader Eli Hobeka, and also the former uh, Lebanese Prime Minister Rafi Kariri, and that this was done in close coordination with a similar unit operated out of then uh, Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon's office in Jerusalem. So, briefly, do we know who supposedly was in charge of the operation? Well, from what uh, uh, Seymour Hersh uh, revealed, it was definitely Dick Cheney at the very top of that uh, structure. What I reported uh, back in 04 and 05 was that Karl Rove, who was uh, President Bush's uh, top political advisor, he was involved along with Elliot Abrams, who was the Deputy National Security Advisor in the Bush administration. And people may recall Elliot Abrams as one of the uh, uh, people who was involved in the Iran-Contra scandal and was indicted uh, in that scandal, but he was uh, uh, pardoned by former uh, President George H.W. Bush, Bush 41. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. Thank you, uh, Wayne Madsen, very much indeed, an investigative journalist from Washington, D.C.